Chances are you've received at least one notification that your personal information was compromised in a data breach. These cyber attacks are happening more frequently than not, and it's impacting millions of Americans. That is why the NBC response team across the country have worked together to address this issue. I pulled numbers here in Massachusetts, and the number of people impacted is staggering. Take a look. People are suffering from data breach fatigue, and I understand why. You just go, oh, gosh, another one? What am I supposed to do now? Data breaches are a growing danger that continue to put millions of people at risk. Not only do they threaten our privacy and security, but also that of the entire country. 10% of publicly traded companies reported a data breach impacting 143 million individuals. According to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, complaints of data breaches and identity theft have increased in recent years, both nationally and in the Commonwealth. Last year, more than 2,400 breaches were reported in Massachusetts. The number of residents impacted almost reached 7 million. Their accounts have probably already been stolen many times. That's one of the harsh realities of this. As of early November, nearly 2 million residents have had their information compromised. That could be 500,000 people stolen four times, right? So it's hard to know for sure exactly where the data came from. Of the 1,900 breaches that have been disclosed so far, more than 1,300 included Social Security numbers being compromised, as well as financial accounts and and driver's licenses. Healthcare and finance are the two top sectors that have reported a data breach in Massachusetts. Every organization has to be super transparent about what they know happened. Getting a data notice depends on where you live. In Massachusetts, a written or electronic notice must be sent within a reasonable amount of time. However, that could take months. The time to detecting a data breach still over 200 days, and then it takes on average 70 to 75 days for it to actually be reported. Experts say it's no longer a case of if you become a victim, but when. Before hackers strike, freeze your credit at the big three credit agencies. This will prevent criminals from taking out anything in your name. Keep an eye on your free weekly credit reports, credit score, and credit card statements for any unauthorized charges. And you should also get rid of old accounts you don't use. Having too many digital accounts can increase the risk of your data being misused or stolen. Keep an eye on your email. Keep an eye on your physical mail. If you're getting a letter from a bank or a registry of deeds or what have you that you're not expecting, don't necessarily assume that it's junk mail. It could be the notification of something that's being done in your name that isn't you. Now, you've heard this before when it comes to the security of your personal information online. A strong password is one of the best defenses. Tools like Google's password checkup can show you which of your email addresses and passwords have been compromised so you know which ones you need to update first. Experts also advise changing your password every three months to avoid any security risks.